Welcome to Land Cloud Adventures, where it is fluffy fun. Why is Pippa so scared? Uh, fireworks! It's almost the 4th of July and they go nuts in Omaha, so we have to get the fluff out of here. We're going to take Dallas and Pippa up to my dad's and then return to finish selling the house and getting the trailer ready for our official launch. The morning provided a beautiful sky and a lot of hope and positivity, but also a reflection that I'll miss some of these gorgeous views. Hey guys, Land Cloud Adventures. Nate, Dallas, and Pippa are in the back. We are heading on the road, going up to my dad's to South Dakota to drop off the dogs, get them away from the fireworks. This is pretty much the official first part of the trip, getting ready to close on the house, and then we'll be gone for good. It is hot out and muggy. It's kind of miserable. Oh, that was fun. I knew that would be a hard merch for a new kid. <laughs> We've done this drive many times and it's not the most exciting, but it was fun to see the carnival set up when we went through Sioux City. But otherwise, it was mostly three hours of straight highways and cornfields. Okay. Wait. Oh. Bears! All these birds. Look at these. They're not bats. These are birds, guys. There's a whole bunch of holes. Oh, you saw one just come out. You, they keep coming out. I took some time that night at my dad's to go for a walk and wrap my head around everything that was about to happen. I found a nice grassy hill I'd never found before and watched the sunset. But now I realize I need to put the camera on a tripod or something far more stable than my hands. The next morning I woke up and had some breakfast and said my goodbyes to the dogs for a few days. As I made my bed, it dawned on me. It might be the last time I sleep in a normal bed for who knows how long. Ah, but enough. It was time to get back to Omaha and take care of business of finally moving out of the house. We just got a plane coming in nice and low. Can we get that on camera? What is it doing? There is an airfield around here, but that's pretty damn low. Kind of cool. I'm gonna go back and mow, get the final stuff out of the house, clean the house, close on the house, and then head back and get the dogs and get out on the road. I That's peaceful out here. Time for a new chapter, but that's a weird feeling. Knowing it's your last night. Not that I've been staying in the house anyways, but uh, yeah, you hear fireworks going off. That's why the dogs aren't here. They already got there last night. They probably don't even realize it. Most of the time we don't realize their last time, but I guess I can appreciate that I do. Hi everybody. Well, I guess it's my last day at the house. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I figured I should take a quick video, say hi to everybody, tell you how I'm doing, show you around a little bit before we take off. I've got I'm about on schedule, a little bit behind, but we got time, we got time. We got to take the time to document everything the best we can. So the trailer, it's, it's not pretty right now. It's very disorganized still because I've still got things that as I get to my dad's in the first week on the road, uh, we're just gonna be figuring out where, now that we've got everything final, like this is the stuff we're keeping. Uh, now I've just got to kind of organize and give everything its final home. And so, uh, for traveling today, uh, all the breakables are away and safe and everything else is just kind of in a safe spot for what it is. And so yeah, we're the trailer, I, I've, I've just got to unplug it and do final stuff and get it hitched and then we're on the road. And so let's do this, I'm not even going to turn this off, let's just go do a quick walkthrough of the house. Come, come along. Um, I don't know, I didn't really plan this guys. First time I've used a selfie stick too. so. Still feel a little bit ridiculous and feel like I'm talking to myself, which I guess I am. Um, always got to lock up the trailer because it wouldn't take long just for somebody to go in and grab something real quick. As stupid as it would be, but. All right, so here we go, guys. Walking away from the trailer towards the house. This may be my last time in it. I might even leave my key. You guys want to see me leave the key? Oh, how do I lock it? 
I guess I have to take one key with me because otherwise I can't lock it for the for the buyers. But here we go. Um, going through the kitchen here. Man, I've been doing a lot of cleaning. You know, you know how it is. It's the one time we cleaned the fridge real good, cleaned the oven down here. Um, so we'll kind of walk backwards, I guess. Here we go, we got the little dining room area that goes down to the living room. We'll go outside in a second. I appreciate the backyard for a last, last go through, but. Oh, my battery's dying already. No, it's not, what's that? Oh, that's my, uh, I don't have a lot. Ooh, I gotta get stuff off the uh, camera, I guess. Oh, a couple of the small rooms. This used to be where I uh, did all the work for the government. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know how well these pictures come out, but I'll have to work on uh, videoing with the selfie stick. It's the first time I've done it, so I don't know how these will turn out, guys. Ah, uh, the other small room. Oh, uh, this was the dog's room. If you guys remember this, the, the infamous breaking of the bed and the falling of the, the window bar, whatever you call that. But we can go across here. We got the little, I'll back in here because we got over here, we got the extra bathroom that never got used. So that's one part of good part of downsizing is we don't waste all that stuff. Put a little light in here. Oh, the bath or the master bedroom. It's all empty, guys. You guys had a walkthrough of when it was full. Kind of look out in the backyard in the neighborhood. If you guys remember, there was a video of downsizing the master closet and. It got downsized even more. Ooh, it's kind of weird in here. There we go. It's all empty. It's all empty. We got the uh, the bathroom. This is probably what all the nomads wish they had, right? If we could. But it takes up a lot of space. Of course, everything is uh, cleared out. It's all gone. Nothing left, guys. It's gonna be weird. It'd be weird. Take one last look outside, eh? I've been hanging out with the Canadians too much. I'm saying, eh? Eh? Oh, man. The dogs are going to miss that. They already do miss it, I guess. All right. That's last time upstairs. Last time. Ooh, watch your head. <laughs> Just kidding. You guys can't bump your head. So, living room. A fireplace. All empty, all empty, it's all gone. It's all in the trailer, or been dispersed, or sold, or given away. Let me be careful as I back in the garage here. It's always been kind of dark out here. Oh, I guess I don't have this light on either. We could do this, but I don't want to leave it on. Uh, I this is where, you know, dance with me. And dance with me in the garage. Here we go, we still, oh, we got an echo because we're in the garage, but, um, yeah, I'll have to come out here one more time because I still got to unplug the uh, unplug the trailer because I still got the AC going because it's still pretty warm and I'm still kind of in and out of it. All right, let's do one more uh, base basement and then the backyard and then we're getting the heck out of here. Get on the road. Well, not quite yet. We still got two days of uh, mooch docking at my dad's, but here we go. Here we go. Go carefully downstairs. It's oh, let's turn the light on for you guys. There we go. Whoop. Oh, the washer dryer won't have that. Water heater. Boop, boop, boop. We got, of course, back here where you leave kind of the, the paints and whatnot of the house. So, huh. Dance with me again as we do a little circle here. <laughs> uh, never been a dancer, so I don't know. Does that count as dancing? Da, 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 da. Oh, better be careful. Don't want to get a copyright strike. I don't know if that's anybody's song. Even random stuff can probably get you in trouble these days. All right, let's go to the best part. Although we're gonna have a whole new backyard basically, so maybe I won't miss it that much. But here we go, unlock this bad boy. Step out into the peacefulness. You see over here, back here, where my neighbor built a pool house and a pool back there but let's do one last time here we 
got some birds over there. All right, let's go back in. It's kind of warm out, so can't really stay out here too long. Ah, uh, but it's beautiful out there. Got the flowers are kind of blooming. All right, guys. Well, that's it. But yeah, it's about, it's getting real. It's about to happen. It, I don't call this officially leaving because I'm mooch stalking for a couple days. I'm considering the first my official set off, but this is pretty darn close. Last time I'm ever going to see the, uh, the house. I hope that would mean something went wrong if I ever see this place again. Um, so yeah, exciting, exciting. Uh, the three hour drive with the trailer, of course, is a little stressful still. Um, and then unloading on the other end will also be tired. But holy cow, it's happening. It is happening and we are gonna make it, we're gonna make this exciting. We're gonna make it happen. Here we go, guys. Officially leaving the house. Never to be seen again. I'd sing on the road. On the road? No, I don't wanna get a copyright. Plus, you guys don't wanna hear me sing. Here we go, the thing's wobbling back there, getting it out of the driveway. Here we go, here we go. Woo! <laughs> we are out of here! Hey guys, I figured I better take one last uh, use of the bathroom. While I have a nice bathroom and plumbing, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Kinda creepy, huh Derek? Just kidding, I had to do this for Derek of Van Life Voyages. He's been known to live stream from the toilet, so as you can see, I'm not actually, I don't know what you guys can see or what it looks like, but, oh, I'm going to miss that indoor plumbing, eh? Oh, I got to stop saying, hey, DJ, you're bad, you're a bad influence. 